Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Banjo-Kazooie Randomizer. Okay, we are here in Treasure Trove Cove. I did do a save state, so we will be back here if something happens. There will be two moves for us to find. So hopefully Flang will be here as well. We got Blubber's Gold, one of the two. And that was Snorkel as the Snacker replacement in this one. As we haven't seen Rusty Bugger yet, but Snacker will be in the place of where Snorkel is in Rusty Bugger. So, yeah, we gotta get ready for that. There's a lockup right here as a normal enemy. And these guys work just fine, although there's nothing inside those lockups, so we will ignore them. And it seems like it's pretty creepy here. This is the Mad Monster Mansion um, skybox in the background, so... Are you... Hun yeah, you're, no you're an enemy. If a honeycomb is not regularly moving up and down, it's an enemy, a ripple. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's talk to Nipper. Hey, this Nipper speech. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Hop a slant crustacean brain. Your cheeky bird needs feather clipping. Oh yeah, just try it, shellhead. Gladly. I'll peck you in the eyes. How do you like that? Ah, oh, you heard Nipper makes me mad. Good. I need to beat you anyway so I can have access to a random warp. Unless this is... Oh, this is normal. Okay. Cool, cool, very cool. Now, I do wonder if that one uh, warp is going to be broken like it was last time. In a different seat. Whoa! You just showed up out of nowhere, didn't you? Dang. Okay, but at least we're not in the way of the Jiggy, so we'll get that and be on our, our way, so have fun. No wonder Nippy's, Nipper's angry, he's got a big stomachache because of that guy. Woo. I'd have a stomachache too if I had a lock up opening and closing his mouth all the time with soap teeth in my stomach. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh, we appeared right up there, okay. Can't really tell what's in that lockup. And we can't tell what's over there. I'm gonna jump and land on this platform or crate in the water. That is a mumbo token. Okay. I guess we'll get out of the water then. I do need those moves as soon as possible, so let me get them while I can. And we don't have to worry about these guys. Because these guys, while it looks like they're just roaming around, they're not going to attack you. And because I have the beta, or rather, um, snippets, the black and red crabs, those are the actual enemies this time. So these normal crabs are not much of a nuisance anymore. So there we go. Okay. Before we go in there, that's the warp that I'm talking about. Before I tried raising Surk Food Island to see if you know, that warp would work again, but it didn't. But that's the one that couldn't do anything with, so. Wow, I just saw. Wow, okay. Okay, here's a move here. Please be the flying. I need that. Although, what haven't we got yet? I've got the Wonder Wing, I've got the Talent Rock, the Egg Move, Big Buster, Waiting Boots. So it looks like the last two moves. Is there seven moves or eight moves in the game? So there's three in Mumbo's Mountain. There's two in Trigger Trolls, so that's five. We got all oh, the Running Shoes as well, so we got eight of them. So there's one in Clanker's Cavern, that's six. 
one in Gobi Valley, one in Freezy Geese, so that's eight. Okay, so this could be flying, running, or big bomb. You got a running shoes. That's a lockup, not a running shoes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that wasn't what I had in mind, but. The other move is over here, so let's see if this one would. This has to be one of the fla. It's only a flying move for this one because we got everything but the two flying moves the flying and big bomb. And there it is, there's the flying, okay. You've learned all the code's new moves, good job. Now, there's only Big Bomb, and I'm not sure where that is, believe it or not. Um, I've got... What level have we, have we gone to yet? We've been... Hmm. The only level we haven't been to is Rusty Bucket. And since the molehills are in the same location, that means that I haven't gone to a molehill yet. Gobi's Valley, I did go there. That was the Wonder One. Oh, the one in... Oh, yes, okay. The one in Bubble Group Swamp, that's the one that I didn't get, okay. Alright, that will be the Big Bomb, and we are good for the moves. We got flying now, so that's important. I would have rather the flying over the big bomb. At least in terms of the move before the other one to get. So. Collect the notes while we're here. It was interesting to see that uh, Mad Monster Mansion had 91 notes. That was interesting. Also, there's two lags in here, so. Where's the other blubber gold? That music that you're hearing is, I believe, called Advent. It's basically a former Mumbo's song. So, that's what you're hearing right there. And yes, I am speaking a bit quieter, not as loud as I have been in the past two videos. That's because uh, my family's in the house and a family member is going to be going to sleep shortly for work, for work the next day, so. And my other family member likes to tell me to keep quiet, even though the other family member doesn't hear me when she's sleeping, so... Yeah, so as long as I'm not being really loud, I am I should be okay. So as long as I talk normally, we are good. Okay, so where's this Jinjo tree? There it is. There it is, the Jinjo right here. Alright, that's the pink, even though that's normally the yellow. Ooh, we got some notes on the trees, so I should be looking on all the trees. Hmm. Nope. I almost fell down there. I didn't want to do that. No notes there. There was a jingle there. How about up here? There is one note. Hmm. The 91 notes in Mad Monster was a surprise to me. Cause I figured it would have been 89 or 90, but... I think this time it's gonna be either 89 or 90 for sure. But we'll see. My throat is a little bit sore, I'm not sure why. I think it's because I ate quite a bit today of the little hard food chewing, like cereal and 
quackles and stuff like that. I had a bit to chew today, so I think that's why my throat is a bit sore. You know? But I'll be fine for the video. Oh, that's where we come out of, okay. Is there... Yep. There's nothing here. Usually a mumble token, but not now. Okay, what's over here? That is an empty honeycomb. I want it, and I want it now. Snorkel, will you go away? Nobody likes you. <laughs> Ow. Will you go away? You stupid, stupid fist, you. Fist. I said it right, yeah. Everybody likes Snorkel. Not really Snacker, but since Snacker's here, I mean, Snorkel's here, everybody likes him. Oh my god, no, nobody likes him. Because Snorkel is not the fish that we have to save in Rusty Bucket. No. That is the crab that I was talking about. He is out to attack us. Go away. Okay, give me the jiggy. And I can get out of here. Wow. Surprising that I didn't get hit from that guy once. I can just stand in... In place of this guy and not get hurt all day long. But this guy, ooh, he hurts. So there we go. Ooh, I actually need that other honey. Ridiculous sound effect for the honey, but what can we do? It's not like I can... If you have anything inside of you, I'm gonna kill you. But nobody's... No, nothing inside there, just a token. I'm not gonna bother. Even though the lockup can't technically hurt us at all. I believe that's... No, that's normally the blue ginger, so... No. That's where an extra life normally is. What am I talking about? Whoa! Well, I didn't want to do that. Give me the notes. 129 gold feathers. That is a lot. Okay, get me down there. Okay, the music that I'm hearing is the intro cutscene of seeing Grunty, Klungo, and Tootie in that um, machine room. So. That's what that is. Why it's playing here of all places. I guess it's a kind of creepy song. Little creepy sad song. Because of what is going to happen to Tootie. And considering we have the Mad Monster Mansion skybox in the background. I guess it's kind of fitting. Okay, get me over to this crate. There's a Jinjo down there. Ah, oh, you suck. You made me waste the eggs. Woo. There we go. We got that. One more Jinjo and we're good to go for that one. Gonna collect all these notes. There's a Jiggy over there that's normally a mumbo token. We'll pick it up right now. Ah, uh, I saw the last Jinjo up there. Suck food island is not raised, unfortunately. Go away, dude. Ah! Is there anything out there? Empty honeycomb? Oh, that's where blubber gold is. Hmm. Interesting. Go away, dude. Woo. 
And there's another lockup. Huh. It's good that they can't hurt us as long as we don't go near the teeth, but I am wondering if we're able to swim under and grab those notes that are on the sandcastle. Hopefully we would be able to. We got a lot of eggs. Ooh. Not too bad. Oh. Okay, he just dropped down for no reason. He can't hurt us anyway, so we don't have to worry about him at all. Yeah, gold feathers over there. Is there a jiggy over here? Nope. Just a mumble token, so I'm gonna Ignore that. I'm gonna kill this guy though. And I'll leave that honeycomb just in case I need it later. Ooh, note. Don't mind if I do. And I suppose while I'm here, oh, no note. I will take that though. I suppose I'll give Blabo his gold, even though I don't think he deserves it. He lost the gold, so I don't think he should still have them, but... Nonetheless, we want the Jiggy, that's all that matters. Okay, how many Jiggies is that so far in Treasure Trove? That's seven. Cool. Okay. Have I gone in there yet? I think I have. Yeah. I'm gonna go up here, drain the water for the sand castle. Although, should I do that? Hmm. I think it might be better to swim under here. Thankfully, there's only one note, so. That's good. Now we can drain the water and see what happens. I wonder how you guys are liking the shadow bear and bird. And if you have seen the other skins for Banjo and Kazooie, what one is your favorite and least favorite and Stuff like that. Okay, let's go inside here, see where this goes. Which should take us right up here. Okay, there's a mumble token, however. I'll, I'll get it, because I'm right here. 25, who cares? Okay. Where does this one go? Okay. Have I gone in that one door? I think I have, and it took me out where Nipper Cell is. Hmm. Uh, okay. To get in the sand castle, we gotta go in here. And that's a regular honeycomb, so we don't have to worry about him at attacking us. We do ha we don't have to play the Banjo Kazooie game though. Because there's that. That golden treasure was for me. No harder still the game will be. How about no? You know what? Since you're not hurting me, I'll leave you alone. Why not? I don't need any health right now. I don't really need to do the stop and swap eggs right now. If you guys want me to do the stop and swap eggs, then let me know in the comments and I'll get those at the end of the game before we take on Grunty at the end. But other than that, 
we may come back to you again for the uh, Shido pages, uh, pages, Shido spells. So for the blue red, gold feathers, red feathers, and stuff like that. Although, can I get them now? No, I don't think so because they would light up yellow if you're if it's activating. So. Okay, I have gone in there, there is, okay, there is the treasure hunt that I haven't done yet, so let's do that now, and there is a, oh crap, I didn't want to die and have to recollect the notes again, although, are they in here? Yes, they Excuse you. Okay, these guys apparently hurt. Huh. Maybe it's the yum yums. Maybe the crabs there that are taking the place of the yum yums. Maybe those are the ones that are not oh uh, that don't have any collision but it's hard to say like these guys have collision but yeah uh, like this guy over here oh what okay maybe maybe I'm thinking of something else. Because now those guys go attacking. Huh. Okay. Um, trying to figure out which one I should do now. I'm going to do the lockup that's in that alcove over there. Get that while we're here. And then we can just... Well, if it's... Okay, it's not an egg. It's just a mumbo token, I'm not gonna bother with that. And we don't have Beak Bomb, I know that for a fact. We'll be getting that in Bubble Gloop Swamp. Oh, right in the face. Ow! That hurts, man. Only four feathers, no notes, okay. Just wanted to be sure that there were no notes there. Now we can fly over and get the other clues. Uh. Yep, nothing in there. Extra life over there. This crab here. Yeah, now they're attacking. Is it because I got rid of all the black and red crabs? No, because there's one under here. So... Something happened that basically activated the green crabs. And I don't know what that is. Hmm. Kind of spooky if you think about it. <gasps> notes. I see notes. Oh. Okay. Uh, I see even more notes. It looks like we might have either the... 89 or 90, but it could also be 91 again. Well, there's 85. We, there could be four more. There's one over here. There's none in this chest. Although I already got them. How? 
Aha. 86. 87. Eighty-eight. Hmm. Eighty-nine. Ninety. We have ninety-one again. Huh. Ninety-one notes. Okay, I guess uh, a few levels will be 89, a few of them will be 90, 91, to total 817. Eight that would probably make sense. Now that this guy attacks... Ha! You suck. He fell over the edge. Good riddance. Ow! Will you stop being a doofus? Yeah. Oh! Went right through the chest, but it still opened. 11 Jiggy, wow. 9 of 10, hmm. I don't know. But we have 91 there, we have 89 in Mumbles Mountain, still 5 of 10 Jiggy, 1 of 2 empty honeycombs. Although we still have to go back there and finish that level out, because I got 2 Jiggies and the empty honeycomb left to get there. We are actually done with Treasure 12 in terms of Jiggies. And note, the empty honeycomb, there is one place we haven't looked yet. If it's a mumble token, then obviously the honeycomb is going to be somewhere else in another world. Uh, Clankless Cavern, we are done with that. Bubble Group, we still have to go there. So I'll probably go there next and save Rusty Bucket for last. We also got Freezy Peak and Gobi's Valley to do it well. And Click Clock Wood, we still got a lot of stuff to do. And so little time. Well, not really, but... Yeah, we're gonna be here a little while, so... Buckle up. Oh, hello. That's interesting. Get over here. Aw, oh, you suck. I wanna destroy this guy. Oh, come on. Whoa, pfft. Dude! Go away! Oh my god! Come on! Come at me, bro! That was close. Okay, what's over there? Mumbo token? No. We're gonna leave that far behind. I need health and I need it now. Oh boy. Bottles! Can you give me health? No. That guy sucks. Well, there is uh, this guy over here. Okay, we're pretty much done here, so let's exit the level and never come back. Other than going to the sandcastle to enter codes later on. Okay. Before going in Freezy D, however, we do need Big Bomb. But where is... Oh, Bubble Gloop? Okay. The Bubble Gloop is actually at its normal location, like Mumbo's Mountain. And Rusty Bucket will also be at its normal location. Every other world, though, is at the different place. Okay. 
Let's see. You know what? I'm gonna go down. Wait. Let's go in here first. Cause we wouldn't be coming here otherwise because the worlds are already open and we don't need to do this puzzle, so. We can talk to Bruntilda while we're here. Red Feather, of course. There has to be one here of all places. Nothing there. Mamo token or Jiggy. What no? Empty honeycomb. Even better. Nice. Okay, what do we got for hints? Pretty sure I'm probably probably gonna forget this. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt. At which school? Really? How do you figure? I also know that freshly birthed boils is her favorite smell. Grunty is all kinds of nasty, is isn't isn't she? And the old hag's favorite color is ghastly gray. Ooh. If you think I'm rather soft, I'll be waiting in the loft. Nah, you're not soft. You're a blowhard. That's what you are. <laughs> Thinking that you like the smell of bursting boils. Come on. You are not a softy if you like that. Okay. Mumbo's Mountain, yeah, we're gonna go there. And we can also talk to this Gruntilda down here. Although, I should call her Gruntilda, because it's obviously Grunty and not, um, Gruntilda. Grunty brushes her rotten- oh, right, we already did that. Brushes her rotten teeth with tuna-flavored ice cream. Yeah, that's not hard to forget. Hello! Random ice cube. Relaxing click clock wood music. Nice. Go away, dude. Yeah. Where that ice cube was, in one of the previous seeds, there was a gruntling there, a black grunt gruntling. And he followed me all the way into Mumbo's Mountain. Well, until the warp happened. But yeah, he followed all the way. That's a pretty cons pretty uh, persistent dude right there. Oh, come on, I got that. We do do Mumbo's Totem Ball. Beat us with nice blue stones. If you actually... Dude! Dude, come on, there we go. Woo. Oh, come on, I got that. Oh, come on, there you go. Okay, that was that. And I still need the conga one. So let's go do that while we're here. It's nice that we have over 150 eggs. It's not like we really need all those eggs for... Um... Are you serious? I gotta go and get that stupid orange? Oh my good lord. Had I remembered about that, I would have gotten the orange in the beginning here, but no. The Jinjo had to trade places with the orange. You are creepy without eyes. You are adorable. Not so adorable anymore. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Did he say anything? I don't know if he did. I have the headphone volume pretty low on this one. So I'm not hearing everything I said. There we go. Woo! 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude. You stupid dude. You are not safe there. I can eat eggs in your face. Oh, come on, that worked. What are you talking about? What? I rolled into the egg. What are you talking about? The egg bounced over me, apparently. Okay, so that is seven out of ten. Two of two empty honeycombs, so that's good. So Mumbo's Mountain is now completely done because there are no other notes. And... Okay, I guess we'll go to Bubble Gloop next. And then after that we'll go to Freezy and then Gobi Valley. Complete those. And then we should be good. Well, there's also Click Lock as well. I did say I was gonna leave Rusty Bucket for the final level. So... The levels I'll do in order now are Bubble Gloop, Free Gigi, Gobi Valley, then Click Clock Wood, and then Rusty Bucket. Ooh, we also have these from Clunker's Cavern right here, so let's pound those guy balls. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Are we gonna take the cauldron shortcut? But that free gigi entrance is it's no longer there. Free gigi is down where Tregletorb is, and Clunker's Cavern is actually in place of free gigi. So yeah, something seems wrong with that picture, but I can't quite put my jiggy in it on it. What I don't. Yeah, that guy. He followed me all the way from that bottle of molehill in that first area down to Mumbo's Mountain. Weird. Reason for coming over here is if you haven't played the game before, which I'm not sure why you'd be watching the randomizer instead of playing the vanilla game first. And by vanilla, I mean the actual original version of the game, not the uh, the random I will because a lot of stuff is in the different locations, the music is not in the right places, so yeah. But for those of you who do have played the game before, my wording is not correct apparently. But for those of you who have played the game before, obviously. You'll be watching this to see what stuff is randomized and all that. But, uh, you know why I broke that ice, that chunk of ice over there. Okay. There was a note up there, so that could have been easily missed. That is creepy. Also, be right back. Okay. We are listening to the wondrous music. I'm trying to remember where this is from, the music. Gruntilda is now a piranha. That's terrifying. There's a Jinjo up here. <laughs> 
So apparently when you do the packing packing, it doesn't hurt this, doesn't break the bandage, but only the big birds will do that. Okay, I have so many red or gold feathers. I can just not waste time with the wading boots and just grab those two notes. And let the leaf leave me behind because it's in a hurry for some reason. Whoa! Don't touch me. I don't want to blow up. Okay. That bull is a freaking bull. Get that bull out of here. You need to die. There we go. Okay. Time to get this jiggy up here. Come on. Oh wow, look at all these notes. Oh, I'll get this extra life while I'm here, not too bad. <laughs> Almost messed that up. Thankfully the pecking of the bird put me back up, so that's nice. Okay, over here is nothing. And I got everything over there, so that's good. Ow! I did not. Seriously, I did not. You didn't see anything. Wow. We have been in the presence of so many Banjo Kazooie mods over the years. And we have been having the randomizer here. We've had the uh, different mods featuring Banjo being in a couple other games like Zelda and stuff like that. We've also had separate Banjo mods like with Cheeto the Spellbook. There's a mod like that. There's Cutthroat Coast and stuff like that. A lot of stuff that's with Banjo that people have made over the years and that's been awesome as hell. And in the works right now by some people is, well, one person is doing the randomizer for Banjo Tui, which is nice. Banjo Tui needs some love as well, especially with all those moves in Tui. There are so many moves in Tui and big levels there, including the Aloe Hags. There's a lot of stuff you can do in that game compared to Kazooie. You can do already, you can already do a lot in Kazooie, but there's much more you can do with uh, Tui. Much more creativity that you can do as well. And it's gonna be so much fun going into Tui for the first time. It'll be like playing Tui for the first time ever with all the mods and the randomizer, that will be insane with how much stuff can be randomized in the game. That will be wickedly wicked. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun in the coming years whenever it's... I believe it's been in the works for a, a year, maybe more now. So hopefully this year we're going to finally see the startings of Banjo Tui mods. If so, then that will be then 2024 will be an amazing year for Banjo fans. It already will be for what we have already for Banjo Kazooie, but it'll be an even better year once Banjo Tui mods and randomizer drops. So. Yeah, I really can't wait for Tui stuff to come out. Snacker is now tank top, it looks like. Huh. Okay, I got that jiggy. That mouth of tank tops 
is going to be a different kind of warp. It's going to take me probably into Mumbo's hut. Since that's really the only other warp. Hmm. We'll see. Yep. We're here in Mumbo's skull. And we got the crocodile here, but before we do that, I'm not going to do the crocodile stuff until last in the level. So that way I can go and... Wait. There's no detransformation outside of the levels though. So I'd have to come back into... Well, actually... Yeah. I, I don't think you can jump into the Treasure Troll Cove chest as the crocodile. You can jump and then you would have the chomp 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 attack to gain a little extra distance, but I still don't think that would be enough. I do have the Cauldron Warp, so I could go into that one and appear up in the Mad Monster Freezy and Gobi Valley area. The Mad Monster entrance is Struggle 12. The Freezy entrance is Clanker Cavern, and neither of them have a Mumbo Skull. The Gobi Valley entrance is Mad Monster. We can take the warp up to the Gobi Valley area and then go into Mad Monster from the uh, Gobi Valley entrance. We can get into Mad Monster, go to Mumbo Skull, and then transform into the pumpkin, or in that case, the acorn, and then exit out of that level, and then we'll be at the Mad Monster Mansion lobby area, and then we can go and raise the water level for Rusty Bugger Bay. That would be pretty good. Uh, so we'll do the crocodile stuff last, although I should go back and oh hmm. I was gonna see if there's anything up in Mumbo Skull, but we'll we'll be going back in there later. Hey, tank up, tip up, what's up? Hey I want to go up there. Yellow, blue, purple. Cool. Bit short, isn't it? Short stuff. Really? No. Dude! I wanted to see what that would be, but it's not the empty honeycomb, it's now a mumbo skull. So... So much for that, I don't need that anymore. It's only 20 for the transformation, and I have 29, so... I don't think we'll be dealing with any more transformations in the level. Cyan, pink. Cyan, red, purple. Cyan, pink, cyan, red, purple. See, I, I pay attention. That dude. Get hit, will ya? What is that sound effect? I'm having a hard time. My my mind is drawing a blank. Yellow, pink, red, cyan, purple, blue. Nope, red. Okay, no, pink. Yellow, pink, red. I said, pink, red, cyan, purple, or purple cyan. Cyan. Purple, red, and then pink. Man, I'm smart. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a good memory, but apparently I can't remember the stinking sound effect that played there. It sounds so familiar, but I don't know what it is. Oh, wow. Thank you. 
It's not part of the empty honeycomb pickups, right? That doesn't sound right. Wow, my mind is drawing a complete blank when it comes to that sound effect. If you know what it is, comment down below unless I somehow magically remember what it is after editing the video or something. I'm gonna really focus on listening to the sound. Ow. How dare you. How's this pick this up? So you didn't hurt me for nothing. You didn't hurt me at all is what I meant to say. I thought about stopping to collect the red feathers, stopping the collecting of red feathers, but... Um... We don't actually fly in this level, so... Mm, okay. Hey, go away. Banjo B makes an appearance in this level. Ho! Okay, now we just have the pink ginger, which... What do you know, he right there, but... He's the enemy, Minjo, mummy, not the actual pink ginger we need. So, that kind of sucks. Go away. Alright, that's all of those notes in this area. That's just an egg right there, so that's nothing. Ow! Really? You know what? Die and give me that. Ho! Man, this music is really fun. One of my favorite tracks in the game. I wanna say it's Nab Nuts 3 in one of the seasons, but I don't think so. Or maybe it is. Huh. I'm not actually sure. Maybe it's one of the... Maybe it's an underwater version of the song in that little cave where you get an acorn. Maybe that's it. The music is so good in this game. Grant Kirkhoff really outdid himself with the music and the games that he's composed the music in, so... Great job to him. Woo! Don't miss the notes now! Those items, the notes, the eggs, feathers, whatever, well, don't know about the feathers, but the the eggs, no doubt. If you're the crocodile and you go through that area, then the eggs are just high enough that you can't reach them. Oh, we're gonna have... Oh, 67 notes so far? I already got what's behind there. This one takes us to here, right? And... Yeah, there is the mumbo token, but I don't need that. 